Lesson 57. Learn how to speak Korean source. How to student Korean.com. Below is a list of Korean vocabulary with English meaning, pronunciation, common usages and examples. Nouns. 우리. Cage for animals. Examples. 다람쥐를 우리에 넣으라고 시켰어요. I made him put the squirrel in the cage. 강아지가 우리에 하루 종일 있는 게 불쌍해요. It is pitiful unfortunate for a puppy to be in a cage all day. 다람쥐, 스퀴를 이그잼펄즈, 저는 다람쥐를 잡고 목욕시켰어요. I got the squirrel and gave it a bath, made it have a bath. 다람쥐를 우리에 넣으라고 시켰어요. I made him put the squirrel in the cage. 다람쥐는 위로 빨리 뛰어 올라갔어요. The squirrel ran quickly to the top of the tree. 뱀 equal snake. Common usages. 도마뱀, 리저드 뱀 가죽. Snack skin like her examples. 그 할아버지가 저에게 뱀을 어떻게 잡는지를 많이 연습시켰어요. That old man, grandfather, made me practice how to hold snakes a lot. 이 뱀은 맹독이 있으므로 물리면 바로 병원에 가서 치료를 받아야 합니다. This snake has venom, so if you get bit, you should go to the hospital immediately and receive treatment. 시럽 이퀄 언인플로이먼트 The pronunciation of this word is closer to 시럽 Common usages 시럽자 An unemployed person 시럽률 Une emploi rat Example 그 대통령이 당선됐을 때부터 실업률이 많이 떨어졌어요. The unemployment rate dropped a lot since that president was elected. 그 나라가 실업 문제를 해결하기 위해 직업박람회를 개최하고 있어요. That country is hosting a job fair to try to solve the unemployment problem. 실업자 Unemployed person. The pronunciation of this word is closer to 실업자 이그잼펄즈 경제가 어려워질수록 실업자의 수가 증가해요. As the economy gets worse, gets more difficult, the number of unemployed people increases. 제가 실업자라는 것이 저의 어머니를 실망시켰어요. The fact that I am unemployed, an unemployed person, disappointed my mother. 초인종 이퀄 도블 Common usages 초인종을 누르다 To press the doorbell 초인종이 울리다 To ring the doorbell Examples. 아기가 자고 있으니 초인종을 누르지 말고 노크해 주세요. The baby is sleeping, so please don't ring the bell. Knock instead. 초인종을 눌렀지만 집 안에서 아무런 소리가 안 나서 그냥 집에 갔어요. I pressed rang the doorbell, but there was no sort of sound from inside the house, so I just went home. 호대기. Baby blanket. Notes. You often see Korean parents, or even more commonly. Grandparents, fold up a blanket and wrap it around their waist with the space in the back for a baby to fit into. The name of that blanket is a 호개기 Common usages 호개기로 싸다 To wrap up in a baby blanket. Examples 저는 애기를 포대기로 샀어요. I wrapped a baby in a baby blanket. 옛날에는 애기를 재울 때 포대기에 사서 재웠어요. A long time ago, when putting babies to sleep. You wrap them in a baby blanket, and then put them to sleep. 음주 The consumption of alcohol. Common usages. 음주금지 For the drinking of alcohol to be prohibited. 음주운전 Drunk driving. Examples. 경찰관은 남자에게 음주운전이 왜 위험한지를 이해시켰어요. The police officer made the man understand why drunk driving is dangerous. 금주 The restriction of alcohol. Notes. 금. Is often used to denote the restriction of something. The syllable after. 금. Indicates what is being restricted. 주. Which is in the words. 맥주. An. 소주. Refers to alcohol. Another example is. 금연. Which refers to the restriction of smoking. When my wife was on a diet, she posted a note on a refrigerator that said 9. 시 이후 금식. In this case, 금식 refers to the restriction of not eating. Examples. 우리 아빠가 오늘부터 금주하기로 저와 약속했어요. Our dad made a promise with me that he will not drink alcohol from today. 이 약을 드시면 꼭 일주일 동안 금주하셔야 됩니다. When you take this medicine, you must not drink for one week. 
Kyogikul. One side. The pronunciation of this word is closer to Kyog. Notes. Kyog. Is usually not used to literally physically refer to one side. Instead, it is most commonly used to refer to being beside somebody in an emotional sort of way. For example, 나는 항상 너의 곁에 있을 거야. I will always be by your side. 제 남자친구는 항상 제 곁을 지켜주는 소중한 사람이에요. My boyfriend is a precious person who always protects, is by, my side. 제가 매일 일만 해서 성공했지만 제 곁에 남은 사람은 아무도 없어요. I worked every day and was successful, but there is nobody left by my side. 심부름, 에런드. Common usages. 심부름을 시키다. To make ask somebody to do an errand favor. Examples. 저는 남편에게 쌀을 사라고 심부름을 시켰어요. I made my husband do an errand of buying rice. 어렸을 때 저는 부모님의 심부름을 해서 용돈을 벌었어요. When I was younger, I did my parents' errands and got earned an allowance. Verbs. 시키다. To order constructions with. 시키다. Are typically used when a subject makes a person do the action specified before. 시키다. For example, 선생님은 학생들을 방과 후 수업 시간 동안 공부 시켰어요. The teacher made the students study during the after-school class. 경찰관은 남자에게 음주운전이 왜 위험한지를 이해시켰어요. The police officer made the man understand why drunk driving is dangerous. 그 할아버지가 저에게 뱀을 어떻게 잡는지를 많이 연습시켰어요. That old man, grandfather, made me practice how to hold snakes a lot. 제가 실업자라는 것이 저의 어머니를 실망시켰어요. The fact that I am unemployed disappointed my mother. 저는 열심히 일해서 부장님을 만족시켰어요. I worked very hard, so I satisfied my boss. 저는 다람쥐를 잡고 목욕시켰어요. I got the squirrel and gave it a bath, made it have a bath. 저는 하루 종일 열심히 일해서 엄마를 감동시켰어요. I impressed mom because I worked hard all day. 저는 저의 여자친구를 저의 부장님께 소개시켰어요. I introduced my best friend to a pretty girl. 저는 시험 전에 긴장하는 학생을 진정시켰어요. Before the exam, I relaxed a nervous student. I made him relaxed. 저의 이웃 사람이 제 강아지를 잘 훈련시켰어요. My neighbor trained my dog very well. 그 뉴스는 시민들을 흥분시켰어요. That news excited the public citizens. 저는 우리 아버지와 우리 어머니를 화해시켰어요. I made my mother and father reconcile. 화해하다. To reconcile make up with somebody. Examples. 저는 우리 아버지와 우리 어머니를 화해시켰어요. I made my mother and father reconcile. 우리가 화해하지 않더라도 우리는 계속 사귈 거예요. Even if we don't make up, we will still be in going out. 우리는 지난 10년 동안 서로 싫어했지만 드디어 화해했어요. We didn't like each other for the last 10 years. But we finally reconciled. 우리가 화해하지 않았을 뿐만 아니라 아내는 저한테 또 화를 냈어요. Not only did we not make up, but my wife got mad at me again. 흥분하다. To arouse. Common usages. 흥분제. A stimulant examples. 그 뉴스는 시민들을 흥분시켰어요. That news excited the public citizens. 새로운 스타워즈 영화가 곧 나올 거라는 것을 듣고 아주 흥분했어요. I heard that the new Star Wars movie is coming out soon and got very excited. 자극하다. To stimulate, the pronunciation of this word is closer to. 자극하다, 이그잼펄즈, 저의 남자친구가 저를 자꾸 자극했어요. My boyfriend kept irritating me. 박수를 많이 치면 손바닥에 자극을 줘서 건강에 좋아요. Clapping a lot gives your palm stimulation so it is good for one's health. 나는 반복되는 일상에서 무언가 새로운 자극이 필요했다. 그래서 나는 여행을 가기로 결심을 했다. 아일랜드와 지리적으로 매우 가깝지만 한 번도 가지 않았던 영국에 가기로 결심했다. In my repeating daily life, I needed some new stimulation. So, I decided to go traveling. I decided to go to England, which... Although geographically very close to Ireland, I had not been to once. 안정하다. To stabilize. 안정하다. Has two meanings.
and it is hard to come up with a translation for either word when written as 안정하다. In general, their translations are 안정하다. To be calm, to calm down. 안정하다. To be stable, to stabilize. These verbs remind me of 감동하다. Where they look like active verbs but their translations make you think they are passive verbs. The active form of these verbs, to calm down and to stabilize, are much more commonly used and can be created by replacing 하다. with 시키다. For example, 그 의사는 고통으로 울고 있는 환자를 안정시켰어요. The doctor calmed down the patient who was crying from pain. 노동자들이 무너질 것 같은 벽을 안정시켰어요. The worker stabilized the wall that was probably going to collapse. 응용하다. To apply to a situation. Common usages. 응용수학. Applied mathematics. Examples. 당신의 경력을 이 일에 응용하면 좋을 것 같아요. It'll probably be good if you apply your experience to this task job. 저는 그 단어의 뜻을 알고 있는데 문장에 어떻게 응용하는지 잘 몰라요. I know the meaning of that word, but I don't know how to apply it to a sentence. 차리다. To prepare food, to recover one's spirit. 차리다. Is commonly used when getting some sort of food ready for a meal, for example. 엄마가 곧올 거라서 빨리 밥을 차려야 돼요. Mom is coming soon, so we need to get the food ready. The name of the little table that Korean people often eat at is called a 상 Oftentimes 차리다 Acts on this word, for example 상을 차려 주세요. Please set the table for me. 차리다 Is also used when one snaps out of something and regains attention, when used like this 차리다 Often acts on the noun 정신 One's mind or spirit, for example, as a teacher Sometimes I will see a student looking off into space and not focusing. At this time, I could say, 정신을 좀 차려. Focus snap out of it. One time I was playing ultimate frisbee with the students at my school. One boy would always catch the frisbee and immediately throw it without thinking. I once had to tell him, 프리스비를 잡고 정신을 차리고 던져. Catch the frisbee, think, focus, for a second, and then throw it. Notice that it is hard to translate. 정신을 차리다. In English, similarly. 차리다. Is also used when one recovers consciousness. For example. 잠깐 정신을 잃었고 다행히 바로 정신을 차렸어요. He lost consciousness for a moment but thankfully regained it right away. 상기시키다. To remind. Left double quotation mark. 상기하다. Means to recall to remember therefore. By saying. 상기시키다. The meaning changes to to make somebody recall. This is usually more naturally translated to to remind. 상기하다. Is a difficult word in Korean and isn't used very often. Nonetheless, it can be used to have this meaning of recalling or remembering, even if it may be an uncommon way to express this meaning. 다시 한번 작년 사고를 상기하고 철저히 준비해 주세요. Recall remember the accident from last year again. And prepare thoroughly. Tilde. 시키다. Can be used instead of. 하다. In. 상기하다. To indicate that one reminds somebody else of something. For example. 저는 매일 저의 여자친구에게 제가 그녀를 사랑하는 것을 상기시켜요. I remind my girlfriend that I love her every day. 선생님은 학생들에게 숙제를 해야 하는 것을 상기시켰어요. The teacher reminded the students that they have to do their homework. 온다. To catch some sort of infectious disease, the pronunciation of this word is closer to. 온다. Notes. 온다. Is used when one catches a disease from somebody else. 옮기다. Is used when one transmits the disease to somebody else. Common usages. 병이 온다. To catch a disease. 감기가 온다. To catch a cold. Examples. 병이 울물까 봐 병원에 안갈 거예요. I'm not going to go to the hospital because I'm worried I will catch a disease. 친구에게 눈병이 울마서 하루 종일 집에 있어야 했어요. I caught an eye disease, eye infection, from a friend, so I need to be stay at home all day. 반에 감기가 걸린 학생이 있어서 많은 학생들이 그 친구에게서 감기를 울맞어요. 
there is a student who has a cold in the class. So many students caught it from the friend. 옮기다. To move, to shift, to transfer, to transmit. The pronunciation of this word is closer to. 옮기다, 옮기다. Is more versatile that. 옮다. First. 옮기다. Can be used when one transmits a disease to somebody else. For example. 감기를 학생들에게 옮길까 봐 오늘 학교에 안 가요. I'm worried that I will give my cold to the students. So I am not going to school today. It can also be used when one literally moves something from one place to another. For example. 아들과 아들 친구들이 소파를 저 방으로 옮기게 시켰어요. I made my son and my son's friend move the sofa to that room. 이 침대를 다른 방으로 옮기는 대 사람 네 명이 필요할 것 같아요. We will probably need four people to move this bed to the other room. 물품을 트럭에 쉽게 옮길 수 있게 아저씨가 트럭을 뒤로 움직였어요. The man moved the truck back so that we could load the products items easily. The thing that is being moved doesn't need to be something physical, like a cold or some type of disease. It could be something non-physical. For example, 일이 너무 심심해서 다른 분야로 옮길 수밖에 없어요. I have no choice but to move switch fields because my work is so boring. Adjectives. 불확실하다. To be unclear, uncertain, the pronunciation of this word is closer to. 불확실하다. Common usages. 불확실성, uncertainty 미래가 불확실하다. For the future or one's future, to be uncertain, examples. 그 정보가 불확실해서 직원이 확인하게 시켰어요. That information isn't certain, so I made the worker check. 미래가 불확실하기 때문에 하루하루 열심히 사는 게 매우 중요해요. The future isn't certain, so it is important to live every day to its fullest. 간지럽다. To be ticklish. The pronunciation of this word is closer to. 간지럽다. Examples. 등이 간지러워서 긁어 주세요. Scratch my back. It's itchy. 저는 동생을 간지럽게 해서 소리를 지르게 했어요. I tickled my younger brother sister, so I made him scream. Adverbs and other words. 방과 후. After school, notes. This is technically two words, but is probably the best way to refer to something that is done after school. Another alternative is saying. 학교 끝나고 방과 후. Can refer to something that is done after classes on a particular day or during one of the vacations. For example, a 방과 후 수업 could refer to in class held after school at like 6 p.m. or during summer winter vacation. Examples. 저는 방학 동안 방과 후 수업을 들을 거예요. I'm going to take a class during the vacation. 저는 방과 후 수업 시간 동안 한국어를 공부했어요. I studied Korean during the after school class. 선생님은 학생들을 방과 후 수업 시간 동안 공부시켰어요. The teacher made the students study during the after school class. 대체로 Generally overall. Examples. 대체로 중학교 학생들이 고등학교 학생들에 비해 키가 작아요. Usually, middle school students are shorter in height than high school students. 대체로 참을성이 좋은 사람이 일을 포기하지 않고 끝까지 해내요. Usually people who have good patience don't give up on jobs and see do them to the end. 당장 Right now, for the time being, common usages. 지금 당장 Right now, right this instant, examples. 지금만 하면 내가 너에게 당장 노래하게 시킬 거야. If you don't do it now, I will make you sing now right away. 지금 당장 여행이 하고 싶어서 회사를 그만두고 비행기 표를 샀어요. I want to go traveling right now, so I quit my job and bought a plane ticket. 마음껏 As much as one likes, the pronunciation of this word is closer to 마음껏 Common usages 마음껏 하다 To do something as much as one wants 마음껏 먹다 To eat as much as one wants. Examples 반찬을 마음껏 드세요. Eat as much many side dishes as you want. 저는 어른이 되면 마음껏 제가 하고 싶은 것을 할 거예요. When I become an old person, I am going to do everything that I want, as much as I want. 뷔페에 가면 제일 좋은 점은 마음껏 먹을 수 있는 거예요. The best thing, point, about going to a buffet is that you can eat as much as you want. For more info, please visit howtostudacorean.com.